Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we will learn a new topic from the lesson fractions. I will give you a brief introduction on the topic equivalent fractions. Are you all ready? Okay, so first let me tell you an example. Mr. Talwar has ordered three pizzas for Amir, Salma and Rahul. Amir had one by two or half of his pizza. Selma had two by four of her pizza and Rahul had four by eight of his pizza. Now, there is a big argument going on between three of them. The argument is about who has eaten the most and who has eaten the least amount of pizza. So, shall we find a solution to it? Alright. I have rubbed away the part they have not eaten. The part they have eaten is only left. So, friends, we can observe that all of them are equal. Right? All of them are equal in amount. The only problem is that they are cut into different ways. Ahmed's pizza is, Ahmed has eaten half of her his pizza, Selma has eaten 2 by 4 of her pizza and Rahul has eaten 4 by 8 of his pizza. Right? But although the fraction is different, the amount is the same. So we can tell that all of them have eaten the equal number of pizza. Right? So now let us do a simple activity. For this activity, all we need is a sheet of paper and some color pencils. Let us see how to do it. To perform the activity, firstly take a sheet of paper and fold it into half. Then open it. Now you can see a center line, right? Just darken it with a color pencil or a crayon, a sketch or with whatever you have. Then color any one of the sides. Any one, okay? If you want, you can just draw lines or you can color. Then what you should do is, again you should fold it in one time and again one more time fold it. And then you should open it. What can you observe? We can see that the number of parts shaded is 2. If you just darken the next line, you can see that the number of parts that is shaded is 2 and the total number of parts is 4. I will just show you. So now I have darkened all the lines I have got. So what do we observe? We can observe that the number of parts that the total number of parts is 4 and the number of parts that are shaded is 2. But in the first case the number of parts total were 2 and the number of parts that were shaded was only one. So, now let us, I will ask you a question based on this activity. For answering the question, you should take the sheet of paper in which you have performed the activity. So, what you should answer is, in which case was the amount of parts that were shaded more? Can you answer it friends? If you carefully observe, we can see that in the first case also, this much parts were shaded. Right? This much amount was shaded. So we can tell that equal amount of portions were shaded in both of the cases. So friends, hope you all have enjoyed this activity. Now we will learn the definition of equivalent fractions. Okay? What are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions are the fractions that represent the same amount. The full definition of equivalent fraction is two or more fractions that represent the same amount are called equivalent fraction. So, two or more fractions that represent the same amount are called the equivalent fraction. In the first example, which was about an argument, we saw that all of the children has eaten the same amount of the pizza. 
because 1 by 2, 2 by 4 and 4 by 8 are equivalent fractions. So, 4 by 8, 2 by 4 and 1 by 2 are equivalent fractions, each being equivalent to 1 by 2. So, the fractions that represent the same amount are called equivalent fractions. Now, let me show you a model and let us understand more about equivalent fractions. Now, I am going to show you the working model of a fraction. Look, this is the working model of a fraction. So, here, quarter or 1 by 4 is covered with pink or quarter or 1 by 4 is represented with pink. Now, what I will do is, I will take a transparent sheet that has been divided into 8 parts and put on the top of it. I will show you. So now I have covered this fraction wheel with a transparent sheet that is divided into 8 parts. So what can we observe? We can observe that the shaded part which is in pink color is divided into 2 parts and the other portions are divided into 8 parts. Okay. Now, let me ask you that if the portion represented is same in amount in both the cases, we can say that it is same in amount. Look, before also it was this much only. Right friends? If you look at the video, you can see that before also it was this much. So, we can tell that 1 by 4 and 2 by 8 are equivalent fractions. Now, let me show you another equivalent fraction example. So now, let me just rotate this wheel. Now, the pink portion is half, right? So, the amount of parts represented is also half. Now, what I will do is, I will again take that transparent sheet and put it on this fraction wheel. Now, after putting the transparent sheet, has the amount of parts represented changed? No, right? Before also, it was this much. If I remove the transparent sheet, it will remain the same. So, now, let me show, show you the equivalent fractions of 3 by 4. And, I forgot to tell you one thing. 1 by 2 is equivalent to 4 by 8. Okay? I will again rotate the fraction wheel. Now, the part represented by pink is 3. And the total number is 4 parts. So, 3 by 4 of the parts is covered with pink. Now, again let me put the transparent sheet. Okay. Now, I have covered it with the transparent sheet. Now, we can see that 6 by 8 of the pink portion is shaded. The pink portion is 6 and the total portion is 8. So, it is 6 by 8. But the amount that is represented by pink has not changed, right? So, two, 3 by 4 and 6 by 8 are equivalent fractions. Now, friends, take a look at this model. Equivalent fractions. 1 by 4 or quarter is equivalent to 2 by 8. We have seen that with the fraction wheel, right? Then, 2 by 4 and 4 by 8 are also equivalent fractions. Now, another example is 3 by 4 and 6 by 8. Both of them are equivalent fractions. So, hope you all have understood about equivalent fractions. Hope you all have learned something new in this episode. Bye-bye!